Hey guys, this is Steve with Tronix Fix. Today we're going to be taking a look at a PS4 model 1001. I'm going to do a teardown of this baby and I'm going to show you the tips and tricks to make your teardowns go easier. We've fixed a ton of these here at Tronix Fix and so we know all the easy things to do to help you from um, causing any, any more problems when you tear it down. Now we also get a bunch of these in uh, where someone tried to tear it down themselves and caused problems with it, which makes it so it's going to be more expensive when we have to repair it because we have to replace more things in addition to whatever the original problem was. So let's get started on this teardown. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna show you guys the tools that we use here. Uh, we're gonna need a small pair of needle nose pliers. We use a small slotted screwdriver. This is a 1 16th. We use a Phillips number one screwdriver. For optical drive repair, we're gonna use a Phillips 00 screwdriver. We're also going to use a T8 Security Torx bit. Now, a lot of people and a lot of online guides say to use a T9. We're actually going to use a T8 because the T9 is actually a tiny bit too big for some of the screws in these. The T8 is a tiny bit small, but it still works great and will remove all the screws just fine. Uh, we got a brush here to brush out any debris we find. We're going to use some Arctic Silver 5 thermal compound. You can use whatever you like. And also, we use two Q-tips. You may need more for what you're doing, uh, depending on how many of these you've done. So those are the tools we use. You may find other tools that you like to use as well, but that's what we're gonna use during this teardown. Okay, we'll start with the easy one. That's the hard drive cover, which is right here. It's the glossy one. So this one, we just put our hands like this and pull it out like this. Uh, this one's been off several times, so it's a little easier than you might find yours to be, but you just give that a good pull to the side and that'll slide right off. So the next thing is taking the hard drive out. We just got a Phillips screw right there. Just gonna unscrew that one. Now it's important to have something to keep your screws in. I'm just gonna use this yellow lid right here. Um, I've done this enough times that I don't need to keep track of my screws or where they go. Um, it's just kind of automatic at this point, but if you've never done this before, you're gonna wanna keep track of where each screw goes. Luckily in this model, a lot of the screws on this top, top part are all the same, so none of that's gonna really matter as far as uh, putting it back together. So the next, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take the stickers off, the warranty stickers, and then also these screw covers right here. Um, I think I forgot to mention in the intro that we're gonna need a pick to get those off. You can also use um, the flathead screwdriver if you'd like. I usually use a pick because it's easier. We just put the pick in and they just pull off like that. So that's going to reveal two more screws. And then we're going to take these screws off as well behind these stickers. None of these stickers have to go back on if you don't want to put them back on. They just cover the screws and then of course the middle two are warranty stickers. So now what I'm gonna do in the interest of saving time is I'm gonna go ahead and use my electric screwdrivers for these screws, just to get them out quick. I don't recommend using an electric screwdriver unless you have a lot of experience doing these, just because you don't wanna get them cross-threaded or anything like that. Okay, once you get those out, we're gonna pull off this bottom cover. The easiest way to do that is to pull up like this, pull up over here, and then that's just gonna slide forward and slide right off. We're gonna flip it back over. I'm gonna take off the other top piece right here. So what I'm gonna do is take the screws out first. Like that. Now what you wanna do for this is put your hand right kinda of where the power button is, get your fingers under the lip of it, put the heel of your hand right here, and give it a good pull up. You can hear that it sounds kinda of like snapping, that's normal. Now it's gonna be a little bit loose, but you're gonna to wanna to pull up on this part until you hear a second snap, like that. And then just slide your hands over to the corner, do the same thing, pull up with your fingers like I did. Sometimes it's a little hard, but it'll come off like that. Now it'll kinda of catch on the back, on the back right here, so we're gonna pull up like this and just slide it back carefully, and that frees it. So now we're gonna turn it back over. Next we're gonna remove the power supply, Phillips head, Phillips head, these are the number one, and then the T8 security torques.
So we'll just take these off. Now these uh, Phillips heads, they have, they have long screws in them. And then also they've got this funky metal piece right here. So when they're in there, you just, you just take this metal piece, grab it and pull up on it. And it's got these pieces here that'll catch on the plastic. You have to wiggle it around a little bit. So we're gonna take that one out. This one I'll flip up to give you a little better view of what we do here. Just grab that, wiggle it around, and then that just pops out. Okay, now the trick for the power supply is putting a finger, you're gonna, what you're gonna see is there's a place where the wires come out right there, and there's a little lip you can grab with your finger right there. So I'm gonna do that with one of my fingers. The other finger I'm gonna pull up on this edge. So we're gonna pull up on this edge first. You can see how it's loose. And then after that, I'm gonna pull up on this edge. So we pulled up like that and that pulled it up. Now don't pull it up any more than this. It still is connected by some wires. So we'll pull this out, flip it up like this. Now you'll see it's connected by wires right here and it's connected by wires, the connector down here. So what I do is I take my needle nose pliers. I pull up on one side of this connector and up on the other side. And then I go back and forth until it comes all the way out. It's gonna be tricky to do that where you can see it, but we'll do it the best we can. So now you don't wanna to pull too hard on this. You just wanna give it a good, a good pull, a good tug, and just go back and forth. You'll see it come up slowly. If you pull too hard, you'll pull that battery connector off and then you're gonna to have to send it into us for repair. So you probably don't wanna do that. We are happy to fix it for you though, if you'd like. Okay, now with your needle and those pliers, you're gonna notice um, some other connectors. There's a connector here, this is for the optical drive. And there's also a connector down on the very bottom for the optical drive. And the connector here for the Wi-Fi antenna. So the Wi-Fi antenna, we just take our pliers, grab it gently, but enough to, to hold on to it and just pull straight up. Now, one of the things that I've seen a lot, I'm gonna get this close so you guys can see it is this connector right here. A lot of people just try and pull this out like that and that's not a good way to do it because it's gonna break it. So this metal tab right here that I believe you can see, you have to push down on. And while you push down on that, what you wanna do is just wiggle this back and forth and pull slightly out, just slowly. And that's gonna pull it out. What happens if you don't do that is these metal tabs on here pull off and then those get stuck in that connector and you can't get the, the connector back on or the ribbon cable back in there. Okay, the other thing we're gonna do is take this cable off and what we're gonna do with that is just get our needle nose pliers, grab each edge of it and just pull it straight back. And this one we go back and forth a little bit as well until it come, and pull gently until it comes off. So there's that, those are all off, and that's everything you need to disconnect from this side. So what we're gonna do is turn this over now, like this. And then we're gonna go ahead and take off the APU clamp, which is right here. We got a Phillips and a Phillips. Those ones will come off with the number one. So that's what we're gonna take off next. There's one. There's two. So then we just, that just pulls off and we set it aside. Okay, now another tricky one for some people is the fan connector, which is right here. Um, some people just try and jerk that off and they end up pulling the black piece, which is right there, off of the motherboard. So what we're gonna do is take our small screwdriver, our slotted screwdriver, and get under the gray connector and just pull it up, just gently until it comes off like that. And you can see this black connector right here, that's what a lot of people accidentally pull off of there. Um, and if you do that, you'll probably be sending it to, to us for repair, which is fine. We've got those in stock and fix it for you anytime. But just be careful when, that, when you pull that off to not jerk that off as well. Okay, now we're ready for this whole plate comes off. We're gonna take off one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 T8 screws. These are the security torques, so. Just keep in mind that you gotta make sure if you get a security a T8 screwdriver Torx that you're gonna need the security bit or the security end on it and that's the one with the hole in it, in the middle of it. So we'll finish taking these off and this metal plate is gonna basically just pull straight up after we get these all off.
Okay, there we go. Now, this metal plate will just pull basically straight up. It's got a little bit of uh, tension pulling down on it because right here, right under here is where the, they've got some thermal pads on here for the memory chips. So those will stick a little bit, but that's fine. You just keep pulling and they'll come up. Now you can see the thermal pads right here. You wanna make sure that these are all on there um, because if they're not, then your console could overheat. So we wanna leave those there and make sure your memory chips are staying cool. Next, we're gonna have the, the motherboard. And for the motherboard, all we gotta do is pull up right here. Now this is a tricky part for some people because you can't pull straight up because of this metal piece right here. So what you gotta do is angle it up like this, kinda give it a wiggle back and forth, and then that's gonna pull straight out for you. So then you got the motherboard. Um, you gotta make sure that when you put it back together, every one of these thermal pads is on. These ones are on the memory chips. And then the other two are on this metal piece. So now what we're gonna do is clean off the old thermal paste. So we can apply fresh thermal paste when we put it back together. So that's what you're gonna use your Q-tips for. We're just gonna um, go through and get that all off of there. I'm going to show you how we do it here. You just take the Q-tip and just pull it off. I kind of rotate it while I'm going and that gets it off quite a bit easier. So we got that. I'll set the motherboard aside for now. Then we'll go ahead and do the same thing here. You just rotate it a bit after, after each pass. Okay, there's that one. Now you wanna clean this with something. I use 99% uh, isopropyl alcohol, and that's a good thing to use. Get it nice and clean. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make one pass, going back and forth, spinning as we go. That's gonna clean it off fairly nicely. Oops, bent one of those tabs. We can just bend those back down. And then also the same thing on the APU chip. We're gonna go back and forth on this just to make sure all fingerprints and everything are completely off of it. And we'll throw that one away. Okay, so that gets most everything off. Um, I'm actually gonna go ahead and take this metal piece out because some of you may need to replace your fan at some point. So what we're gonna do is take, there's one screw here, one screw there, and one screw there. We're gonna take those out and we're gonna use our Phillips number one. These ones are smaller screws, and you can use a smaller Phillips if you need to, but we've found using that same, same one works just fine. So now this, we're gonna do the same thing as the motherboard, take it here and lift up on it, and you gotta make sure that your Wi-Fi cable is removed. This one, as you can see, is catching right down there, so we're gonna remove that and then pull that out. And there is your heat sink. You can see the cooling fins there. So that's, uh, that's basically a heat interchanger. So the heat goes through these fins and the air cools it. And that's what keeps your APU cool. So we'll set that aside. If you need to ever need to replace your fan, all you've got is one, two, those two screws right there. And then there's a metal piece that slides up. So I'm just gonna remove this real quick. Okay, now the fan's ready. We just pull up on this metal piece while we're pulling up on the rest, and then just comes right out, and there's your fan, right there. So now that that's out, the only thing left in this is the disk drive. So what we're gonna do for that is it's got one, one um, T8 security torques here. There's another one hiding under these cables. There's another one right over here, and another one right here, and then this, this Phillips small Phillips screw also has to be removed in order to get it out. And this can be done, um, you don't even have to take out the motherboard for this, you can actually do this just with the power supply removed. So we're gonna go ahead and take out the Torx T8 screws first. Now when you put this back together, you need to be careful of this. Um, a lot of people don't, don't uh, put this back on before they put the screw in. This is what keeps this Wi-Fi antenna in here. So you gotta remember that. And the next thing you gotta remember is this connector right here. It's the same as the one down on the motherboard. If you're not careful, you're gonna, you're gonna break this um, 
cable or get the ears um, stuck inside this connector. So you push down on the metal piece, wiggle it back and forth while you pull, and that gets it right out. So then the next thing is you're gonna have one more cable down here, and that's this cable that plugs into the motherboard. Um, so what we use is just our pair of needle-nosed pliers. We grab right here on the black plastic piece, and we just wiggle back and forth until that comes free. And then we use our T8 screwdriver to pull out that last screw down there. And then next we've got to get this screw out as well. That's the last screw for this. So then this just pulls out after we take the Wi-Fi antenna off. Then this just pulls out like that. So then you've got your disk drive. Now, this disk drive has a problem where it won't read disks. But if you look close, you're gonna see that the roller is stuck up in here and it's not down here where it needs to be. That's because the rollers have become dislodged on this one and they need to be repaired. So that's how you get this thing apart. And the next thing I'm gonna do is show you how to assemble it.